Salut les autres rockers, on a rendez-vous aujourd'hui avec Elena du groupe Eclipse, euh, quatre violonistes euh, au charme considérable. Euh, nous avons le plaisir donc de les rencontrer ce soir pour la sortie de leur nouvel EP. Euh, your new EP will uh, live will be released on January. Yeah, and uh, 13. <laughs> okay. Donc, du 13 First of all, welcome in France. Thank you. It's we we are here. really happy to meet you there. Um, I, I don't want to be cliche, but <laughs> can I say that Eclipse uh, is a romantic, erotical, sensual, and definitely technical uh, cover band of pop, yeah. rock, and metal songs? Yeah, you can say that. Mm? Um, but we are not a cover band, so that you can you can book us if, uh, um, for an event or something, but we are not uh, about playing the... Uh, typical cover stuff. Yeah. We, we adapt that a little bit. We change, we transform the song. It's a real cover, real uh, interpretation. Interpretation of a song, yeah. Uh, <laughs> last April 2012, uh, you had the opportunity to play in Paris in the first part of the Nightwish. Mm -hmm. Um, so you faced, uh, you faced the French audience. Did you yeah. see any difference? Do you see or feel any difference uh, of the, the French audience? To the German? Yes, for example. Yeah, definitely. Um, the German audience is uh, normally, um, they are not really loud or something, mm -hmm. but they, uh, after the concert, they come and say, that was great. But while during the concert, it's uh, normally you think, sometimes you think, hey, are you still here? And, but, um, and the French are the opposite. It was really loud and really, and we saw uh, people singing to the songs. We, are, we don't have a singer, um, and, but they sang along to the songs, and that was, that was really nice. That was actually the first time that that happened here um, in Paris. And, um, yeah, that was great. You played it uh, in another small room, La Belle Villeoise, no? It was uh, one year ago or two year and a half? In yes, in Paris. In Paris? No, we just played once. Just with in Bercy? Yeah. Okay. In the first place. <coughs> no, I'm not, I just <laughs> don't know what it was. No. Okay. We didn't. Um, okay, basic question, but oh, Eclipse was born exactly. Mm -hmm. When and oh? Um, it was in 2011 and we met at a festival okay. um, and we, we got to know each other and uh, we, we played this, uh, the classical um, instruments and it's mm -hmm. kind of hard to be a teenager and have a classical instrument and uh, I was um, into metal since I, uh, I am into metal since I uh, was 15 or something mm -hmm. like this and it's not that easy and then there was Apocalyptica I really like that and I saw it and they were a huge influence on me um, yeah but other than that and and there are not that much uh, classical musicians that want to do that kind of stuff so it was a nice coincidence to find uh, three other girls who had the same uh, the same wish of doing something like this so yeah we met we sat at the table and we said let's do it and then we did it Great. Two years after your first album, A Night in Strings, mm -hmm. Liberté, Egalité, Sensualité has been just released in France. Uh, will release will in uh, January. Released, yeah. so mm -hmm. Will be released. Uh, how did you work on this album and uh, what is your approach when you're facing this big French? It's, you know, it's, I think it's quite difficult to face it and to, yeah. to integrate it. Um, yeah, we, we just want to try to, um, to present our music here and maybe have the chance to play. Uh, lots of concerts so mm -hmm. we can come back all the time and eat and drink your food and your wine <laughs> and um, that was would be really nice just being a part of the country somehow a little bit and um, yeah, that is the main goal just being here play concerts presenting our music French country actually Ah, if it's possible. Well, we are we are German, so hmm. it's hard to be French when you're German. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when my personal approach, but when we listen your way of playing violin, uh, we made it feel. Cello. I play cello. Yes, Sorry. I, I was <laughs> yeah, I know, in I general. Know, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's not true. <laughs> it's true. We immediately feel uh, an intensity, I think, a huge energy, and in the other end, something very really strict. Yeah, not strict, but there is a kind of rigor, real technical precision. 
Uh, okay. Is it for you the, the French, the, the German touch, or...? Uh, the, the, the technical? The yes. This. Uh, um, there's a huge tradition um, in Germany. And very many uh, people come to study in, uh, music in German, uh, Germany. Mm -hmm. um, because there are lots of composers. And even from, um, from, the, from the countries nearby, they come to, um, to Germany to, to study. Um, it's part of playing the instrument, to have the technique, to have the tradition. Uh, and to know about the tradition, that's important. Um, but then, for, for our work here, I think it's very important to choose what you want to show and what you want to break with. So, yeah. As far as I know, uh, almost all yeah. of, of you are uh, multi-instrument uh, yeah. players. Why did you especially focus on uh, I say violin, but no. On cello. <laughs> yes, but on, on violin. Uh, All of us. Yes. Um, um, actually, to be um, very precise, um, um, the other girls, me, I'm uh, the cellist and mm -hmm. I play the cello, but the other are that are focusing um, on more than just the one instrument, and I'm doing that too, but I'm mostly about the cello. So um, why do we choose it? It's it's a wonderful opportunity to um, to to have a different um, different role in a band. This band is not about uh, a singer with a band mm -hmm. like this, but about the four girls being part of a band and some someone is always going in the in the front and playing or playing together. And this is this is nice. Um, this is a nice work. It's not. It's not the typical. You have a front singer, yes, and he's doing or she's doing most of the work because everybody's relating to them to, to him. Yes, but somebody is more in front of yeah. the, the audience. So that is that is really a nice. Um, it is nice work mm -hmm. like this. So yeah. Or traditional last question: If you had one memory of 2014 to remember on stage or outside mm -hmm. in your musician life. Um, I uh, had some quite some. Um, the, I had I had to do my exams in the uh, in the summer, and that was a very wonderful um, experience. It was um, just it was a solo concert for an hour, okay. uh, fifty minutes, um, and with yeah. a, just with a harpsichord player and me playing the cello. And that was really nice. It was my family there, and my teacher, and a few friends in a, in a church, and um, that was a really nice moment because it was really quiet, and I was well prepared, and it was just really nice. And I, I got a good grade, and that was just a perfect uh, kind of ending for with me. Your yeah. yeah, and it was that was really nice. And then there was some other stuff that was pretty, but this is pretty outstanding. Yeah. Eclipse sort cette semaine donc Liberté, Égalité, Sensualité, un peu de gloss, deux violons et douceur dans ce monde de brut, et c'est avec Ultra Rock. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Bye.